All right, so I'm going to do some of your problems off of worksheet 32. Okay, talking about histograms today and then your um, finding the x-intercept problems. All right, so we're going to start with problem number one, which is a histogram. Okay, it says it shows the heights of the students in Kira's class. Okay, and it wants to know the total number of students in the class. So all you're going to do here is count each one of your bars. Okay, and then add that up. So 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 plus 5 is, I mean 11 plus 4, sorry, is 15, and 15 plus 1 gives us 16. All right, for problem number 2, it's talking about the, um, this is a track and field committee published following report illustrating the comparison of lap speed and finishing placement. Um, based on the bar graph, which of the following conclusions is most accurate? The first place team was twice as fast as the fourth place team. Okay, well, your first place team was somewhere up here around 7.5. So, um, fourth place team was down here at more than around 4.5, so that would not be correct. All right, the fastest time for the 200 meter relay is seven meters per second. Okay, and we are somewhere near that, okay, up around in here, but we aren't right on seven, so let's see. It does say most accurate, so we're going to look through and see what we got. The first place and second place teams were closest in time to one another. Um, they're about half a second off. Um, this one's a whole second, and this one's more, so that one looks like it's also a possibility. Okay, and every runner on the first place team ran faster than the runners on the second place team. You do not know that, so we're going to uh, mark that out. Okay, so now we're down to B and C. The fastest time for the 200 meter relay is 7 meters per second. First place team and second place teams were closest in time to one another. Um, I'm going to go with B, I mean with C, sorry. Because the seven meters, we know it is fast. It is more than seven meters per second. All right. Uh, we're gonna skip over here to the last bar graph y'all had, our last histogram. Okay. Um, they gave you your numbers on top for these. According to the table, how many people passed the driver safety exam? Okay. And remember, this is um, all passing, so you would just add those up to get your answer for number three. How many people answered 49 questions correctly? That's gonna be right here in the 49 column, which makes that. 14, and remember I wanted to change this to 48 or less, okay, so that's going to be everybody this way, so I believe that's 9 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2, so that's going to be And then we're going to get to the uh, last two types of problems that we had where we have to find the equation of the line. They give us the equation of the line. We've got to find the slope first. Okay, and we're going to use that slope because it's parallel. And the y-intercept they gave us. And then we're going to set that equal to zero because we're looking for the x-intercept, so your y value is 0 then. So 4 fifths x equals 12, so we're going to multiply by 5, so 4x is going to equal 60, and x is going to equal 15, giving us the ordered pair 15, 0. Okay, and then the last one that I'm going to do is number 9. It's perpendicular, so we're still going to do the same thing. We're going to get y by itself. Okay, and since it's perpendicular, we're going to flip that and change its sign. And the y-intercept was negative 7 here, so now we're going to rearrange. That becomes a 0, so 7 over 2x equals negative 7. So 7x equals negative 14, and x equals negative 2, or the ordered pair, negative 2, 0.